Now our first interview today is with Dr. Henry G of Sorrento Therapeutics. He's the chairman, president, and CEO. Let's go to the interview. Henry, thanks for being with us today. Thank you very much for having me here. Well, it's my pleasure. I want to talk today first about your company, precisely what does Sorrento Therapeutics do? We are antibody-centric biopharmaceutical developer for cancer indication and autoimmune diseases. Uh, talk to us a little bit about some of your development relationships, some of your collaborations, and I, what we're going to talk about here in just a moment, which is your CAR-T technology. Yes. So we have a, a collaboration with uh, Kalinska Institute with uh, uh, our CAR-T programs and ADC programs with uh, targeting the uh, multiple myeloma. We also have uh, uh, formed the company, contributed our, some of our assets into a company called Cellularity. The companies uh, have other contributions from uh, Celgene, United Therapeutics, and Human Longevity. That company recently raised money, and uh, our valuation in that company alone is about uh, over $100 million, and with our 25% equity ownership in it. And that company has multiple products, FDA approved, and multiple products in the phase two uh, development stage. So that's very cutting edge uh, cell therapy uh, company. Uh, what is CAR-T? That's a very important technology today. What is it? So the CAR-T combines the uh, CAR with the T cell. The CAR stands for chimeric antigen receptor. The part of them is the uh, uh, antibody outside the cell targeting the target, and the inside of the CAR is the activating domains that activate the T cell. When you have the CAR into the T cell, when the CAR T cells meet with the cancer cell, they've been activated, and the T CAR T cell can kill the cancer cells very effectively. I want to talk about the value proposition and why investors should own the stock today. I will mention that a major investment bank in the small cap arena, uh, Rodman and Renshaw, has a $20 target price. I also will mention that some of your competitors uh, in the CAR T space using the same technology to target cancers, such as Juno, is a $5 billion market cap. Uh, Kite is a $12 billion market cap. Bluebird, I believe, is about a $9 billion market cap. I want to talk about your value proposition, how you differ or how you're similar to these companies. Yes. So the, uh, the uh, Juno and the Novartis are the pioneer in the CAR-T space, which is just the beginning of a revolution technology in the biopharmaceutical space because the CAR-T is so effective, potentially it could be curative for treating the cancer. So the Juno has about 18 patient data on their CD19 CAR-T product, and that the market cap is about $5 billion. And the uh, Kite have about, the, uh, uh, before they got FDA approved, they've been sold to uh, uh, acquired by uh, uh, Gilead for $11.9 billion for the same uh, type of a car, which is CD19 CAR-T. And you have a Bluebird targeting another target, which is BCMA for multiple myeloma. Of course, multiple myeloma is way bigger than the uh, leukemia or lymphoma. That's why when they have announced about 18 patient data for their BCMA CAR-T program, their market cap reached around $9 billion. There is another company called GeneScript Legend. They recently had a deal with uh, Janssen. Upfront is $350 million. They, about a half years ago, they announced the BCMA CAR-T data for a couple of dozen patients. And that company, last September, which is uh, September of 2017, was a market cap of around a five to seven hundred million dollar. As of today, they are six billion dollar. So the, when you have a positive data from a CAR-T, your valuation could be appreciated very rapidly. We're right now, Sorrento, focusing on the next frontier CAR-T, which is a CD38 CAR-T. We believe this is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, CAR-T uh, therapy in the space. The CD38 targets the multiple myeloma and the, some other very big indication. We are the leaders in this space, in the CD38 CAR-T. And we are going to be IND file first quarter and potentially get into human first half of this year. And if we somehow have a 
positive readout of CAR-T, CD38, CAR-T data in the multiple myeloma indication. Second half of this year, we're talking about we're going to be at the same league as the, the, the journal bird, the uh, kite. And I'll note that there are multiple analysts covering your company that agree with you, and I'll show you on the screen there for our viewers some of the companies covering uh, your company in the target prices. So the first half of this year, you're in a, a phase 1B, phase 2, yes. 1B2, a trial uh, for yes. the same indications as, uh, as you said, Bluebird, is that correct? Yes. And that, again, that market cap, to be clear, I think is about nine billion. Nine, nine billion. Yes. You're 300 million. We are currently around a $400 million right now. 400. Stock has been moving up. You're right. Yes. It's about 400 million. Investors want to know that you're well funded. So let's talk about your, your capital needs and, and where you are in terms we of We just recently raised the 50 million convertible bond. And we have about burning a five to six million dollar a month. So uh, we're, at this moment, we're well covered. And we believe that with a, a good programs, we will be potentially getting a non-delivative cash from a corporate license or corporate sponsorship or collaboration with the corporation. So uh, we believe we're positioned really well in this space. We actually, you know, for 2017, we're trailing about uh, almost 130 million in revenue, correct? So that $130 million revenue, majority of them is through accounting that uh, was our contribution into joint venture called Cellularity. That Cellularity is uh, contributed with assay from Sorrento, with assay from Celgene, Cell Therapy, and the United Therapeutics and Human Longevity. And we are the largest shareholders of Cellularity, owns about 25% of the company and the company raised the money, and the last round of valuation gave us about $125 million equity in that company alone at this stage. And Henry, you also have some uh, other programs uh, in various stages of development. You have a non-opioid pain management uh, program. Talk to us about the status of this program and any upcoming milestones. So we have a lidocaine topical system, which is the ZT Lido. We finish all clinical trials, all the CMC work per FDA requirement. We submit the NDA to the FDA last year. So that means less than two months, we will get the words from the FDA, whether we get the drug approved or not. If we get the drug approved, could be potentially very significant revenue generator for the company. As this compound are targeting a market in the, around 800 to a billion dollar market opportunity, and we are positioning our company as the best in class for this product line. Now, I want to talk about some of the key players on your team, uh, both from a leadership perspective as well as from a development perspective. Yes, we actually assembled a very experienced, uh, seasoned teams in clinical development. That including Jerry Zilda. Dr. Zilda is formerly a CMO from Chief Medical Officer from Celgin. He was the first MD uh, get into uh, hide by Celgene, and he uh, grow with the company from a $100 million company to all the way to a $100 billion company. And he retired in uh, 2016, and he joined us the same year, and because he believed our pipeline is very robust. And uh, together with uh, Jerry, we also have uh, Ken Takasida and Bob Knight, also from Celgene, they join us, they are the expert in the multiple myeloma clinical development. Three of them responsible or participate in a product approved development for about the 10 or $11 billion product get approved and that was revenue on the market. So we have very seasoned team. We also have a Mark uh, Brunswick as our head of a regulatory. He's formerly an uh, uh, examiner in the FDA for nine years and it's very experienced. We have uh, Steve K. He's our uh, chemical vigilance and clinical operation guy. And he's formerly, he's uh, the head of uh, pharmacal vigilance for Mesoblast, an uh, Australian company in the cell therapy side. Excellent. Henry, again, in summary, why should investors take an interest in your stock today? Yes, the, uh, I think the value proposition for us is that we are in the cutting edge of the CAR-T uh, therapy development 
And we are not far away where the leaders in the uh, CD38 cut teeth for a very big market, which is multiple myeloma. If this drug works, we should be in the same league as a Bluebird and Juno or Kite. And that will increase the value potentially to a five, $10 billion or beyond. And currently, we're about a $400 million. I think there is a huge discount here on the valuation side. Very good. I would uh, have to agree with you. Thank you so much for being with on the Thank show. Thank you very much, Dave. Now, to get more information about Sorrento Therapeutics, visit redchip.com. While you're there, subscribe to our free weekly newsletter. You'll get updates about emerging growth companies. Also on the website, there's research reports, fact sheets, press releases, and much more. It's all free. Sign up today.